Hi book lovers, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, but I am here today with some recommendations. It's September, which means that fall has begun in the northern hemisphere of the world. Um, the temperature is dropping, the trees are changing colors, the leaves are falling, all of these quintessential fall things that I personally don't get to experience living in Southern California. But what better way to experience all these than by reading them? in some romance books. So I've got some fall, autumn, Thanksgiving-ish related books to share with you guys. I try to find books that actually take place during the fall um, that maybe might have Thanksgiving within the book. It was actually a little hard to find which books to put in this video because Thanksgiving is not nearly as popular as Christmas or even Halloween, but I did manage to narrow these books down to a pretty big list, so let's get started. The first book that I want to recommend and probably the first book that came to my mind when I was thinking of fall autumn romance books is It Happened One Autumn by Lisa Kleypas. Obviously with this title it makes it a little easier to pick this for a fall romance read. I have my two copies. This is the new one, the reprint, and this one is with the step back. It Happened One Autumn is book two in the Wallflower series. There are four books. Each book is... It takes place during a different season. This one is of course autumn. It is a historical romance and kind of enemies to lovers. Lillian and Marcus are one of my favorite couples from Lisa Kleypas. Um, Lillian the heroine is an American heiress. Marcus is a powerful English lord. They do not get along. They don't like each other from the moment that they meet, mainly because they are both complete opposites. Westcliff is very contained, um, a rule follower. He has quite the self-control whereas Lillian is fearless, she's headstrong, she does what she wants and there's nothing and no one that can stop her. I love this book, it is perfect for fall with the whole English countryside vibes. Lillian and Marcus just make for a fantastic couple, I love their chemistry, I love their banter, they are so so much fun to read. Of course you can't really have some fall romance wrecks without some small town romances, you really can't beat the cozy vibes that are in small town romances. My first small town romance wreck is The Coppersmith Farmhouse by Dabney Perry. This is the first book in the Jameson Valley series and I listened to a couple of these books in the series um, back when Audible Escape was a thing and I enjoyed all the ones that I read so so much. I really like Dabney Perry. She mostly writes small town romances. Honestly any of her small town romances could fit for reading in fall. My favorite from her are the series and the mason jar series. The Jameson Valley series is more cozy and sweet um, with a little bit of suspense towards the ends of the books whereas mason jar is definitely a lot more emotional and intense. Both of them though I really love but I just went with the coppersmith farmhouse for this video because it does take place during the fall. Um, the single mother heroine Gigi she moves her and her daughter to the small Montana town and the book starts with that at the end of summer and goes all the way through fall. Gigi loves the holidays. She always decorates for Halloween and then Thanksgiving and you get to see that in this book. This single mom ends up falling for the town sheriff. They don't quite get along in the beginning and it doesn't help that this farmhouse that she's been gifted was actually supposed to be given to the sheriff. So there's tension between Gigi and Jess right from the start. So if you love small town romances I will always recommend Devney Perry. Another one of my favorites is Bitter Sweet by Serena Bowen. This is book one in her True North series. I had to include this one because this hero, he owns a farm and that farm produces apple cider and you don't get much more fall autumn-y than with apple cider. I had to choose this one because the first half of the book takes place in July and the rest of the book takes place all the way through October. There's a ton of apple picking with a sexy farmer. The main characters actually have met before. They hooked up one time during college and haven't seen each other since five years ago until now. I love the romance between Audrey and Griff. I love Griff's family. His family adds to the cozy vibes. There's a lot of forced proximity with both of them uh, working together on this farm. It's great. I really enjoy 
for the series, but Bittersweet is definitely my favorite. And the last small town romance that would be perfect for fall, I went with Beard Science by Penny Reed. This is book three in the Winston Brothers series, though it can be read as a standalone just fine. I went with this one rather than any other book in the series, even though every book in the series would probably fit if you want some cozy fall read. But I went with this one because there actually is like a Thanksgiving scene in this one in the epilogue, but still counts. This small town is in Tennessee um, and the hero is Cletus Winston. Cletus is the smartest, the nosiest, and probably the one who makes the most trouble for his brothers in the series. If you love quirky heroes, Cletus is exactly that. He falls in love with Jennifer, who is actually a baker. She is the state's reigning banana cake queen. Their romance is hilarious. So much good banter. Jennifer stands up to him and Cletus is just mind boggled by her because no one really ever stands up to Cletus. She's a mystery to him and once he realizes that she is the one for him, he does everything he can to woo her. I adore this book. It's definitely one of my favorites in the series. Cletus is usually everyone's favorite Winston brother. There's a great family aspect to the book, to the series. Um, they always have family dinners every week and again there is Thanksgiving in the epilogue. And then there is A Match Made for Thanksgiving by Jackie Lau which is an actual Thanksgiving romance. This is a novella, a rom-com novella, um, book one in the holidays with the Wong series so each book in the series actually focuses on a different holiday. This one is Thanksgiving so perfect for another autumn read. The first book that I read in the series was the Chinese New Year one which is book three but I had to go and start from the beginning of course. The hero, Nick, returns home to his small Canadian town um, for Thanksgiving. He's very reluctant though because his family, both his parents and his grandparents, are all huge meddlers, especially in his love life. The parents and grandparents have all set up blind dates for their children and Nick, who is our hero, his brother is actually set up with Nick's latest one night stand. If you're looking for something short and feel good, very low in angst, just really easy to read. This one would be perfect. Nick's family is over the top, so charming and funny, and there's so much good food in this Thanksgiving novella, which, I mean, for me, food is the most important thing when it comes to Thanksgiving, so that part was great. Jackie Lau also has a Valentine's Day one and a Christmas one if you want more holiday romances um, for the series. Tiffany Rice, who is one of my favorite authors, I will read anything that she writes. She actually has a Harlequin series um, that centers around the holidays. There is a Halloween one, a Thanksgiving one, and a Christmas one. It's called the Men at Work series and book one is her Halloween treat. This first book is the brother's best friend trope. The heroine runs away to her family's remote cabin in Oregon and that's where she comes across her brother's best friend who has all of a sudden turned out to be hot. Book two, which is the Thanksgiving one, is her naughty holiday. This one has a single dad and it's got the fake relationship trope. The heroine needs a fake boyfriend to help deal with her family during Thanksgiving for the Thanksgiving dinner. In the last book, One Hot December, is the Christmas novella. In this one, the heroine, who is a welder, she ends up falling for her boss, who ends up dumping her, which was a huge mistake on his part, and now he's trying to win her back. All three of them are so, so perfect for the holidays. They're short, they're hot. I mean, it's Tiffany Rice. She writes the hottest books I've ever read, though these aren't quite on the level as her erotica books, but there's still a ton of steam and a ton of humor. And more books that take place during the fall are football romances. I actually had to go and look up the exact dates that um, football season starts because I honestly have no idea. I don't watch sports, I don't really care for them except for in my books, but football season takes place during the fall, so yay. One of my favorites, if not my top favorite football romance is The Wall of Winnipeg and Me by Mariana Zapata. This is a slow burn marriage of convenience. I mean all of Mariana's books are slow burn so that's what you can expect from her. But here Vanessa is the assistant to our grumpy quarterback Aiden. She ends up quitting when she realizes that she's not getting the respect and appreciation that she deserves dealing with his grumpy ass. But now Aiden wants her back but this time as his pretend wife because his visa is coming up and in order to stay in the U.S. and continue playing football 
all he's got to find a way to marry someone. I love this one so so much. This is in my top three from Mariana. I don't know how many times I've reread this one but it's a lot. Most of the book does take place during the fall during football season though it does continue on through Christmas and two more football romances are these two by Alexa Martin. Intercepted and Fumbled are the first two books in the playbook series. Book one Intercepted is a second chance romance with the heroines fleeing from her past and this fling is none other than the new quarterback who comes back into her life right after she's sworn off all athletes after catching her NFL player um, boyfriend cheating on her. This one is really cute and fun with a really sassy heroine. The hero Gavin is super swoony trying to woo the heroine. Book two Fumbled is another second chance romance but on a more intense level. This heroine Poppy falls for the former love of her life and also the father of her child. There are secrets and misunderstandings to deal with but this is another great football romance and if you love your sports romances with single parents then you will love this one. And the last fall romance recommendation that I have is Love in Other Words by Christina Lauren. This one is a friends to lovers second chance romance that will absolutely wreck you. I love this book so so much. It is so emotional, so beautiful. I love it. This book has alternating past and present chapters and the present timeline starts in October and goes through all of the holidays. There is even a big Thanksgiving dinner with the main characters and their friends and some drama going on. But if you want a fall autumn romance that is more on the emotional, more intense side, this one is absolutely amazing. It's one of my favorite books from Christina Lauren. It's not quite as rom-commy as her other books, but I think that's why it would be perfect for fall, for autumn. Macy and Elliot are perfect together. I have so much love and heartache for them. So if you want to cozy up with something that will also tug hard at your heartstrings, you need to read Love in Other Words. I also have two books that I have not read yet, but I want to include them. After looking for these fall Thanksgiving romances, these ones showed up and they're now on my TBR. The first one is Give Me Love by B Love. This one is a Thanksgiving novella. It's got a grumpy hero, sunshine heroine, which is one of my favorite things to read. He hates Thanksgiving. She's trying to show him all the things to love about the holiday and it just sounds super, super cute. And the other one that I found is a historical romance called The Autumn Bride by Anne Gracie. Anne Gracie has been on my TBR for a while. I still haven't read her yet, but this one is giving me Wallflower series vibes. It is the first of four books centered around two sisters and their two friends. These four newfound sisters get taken in by an elderly lady and the first heroine ends up falling for the lady's nephew who has returned back to England after being away for almost a decade. It just sounds really sweet and like the Wallflower series by Lisa Kleypas. Um, each book in the series is centered around a certain season. And that is it for all the fall autumn romance recs that I have for you. If you have any other fall Thanksgiving recommendations, please let me know. If you're reading any fall romances for the season, please share them. After coming up with this list, I am in such a holiday mood. As always, links for all of these books will be down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!